Here we are again on the red carpet and I'm just absolutely delighted that I'm with Rianne because uh, Tina Bode and I are just like massive fans of, well you as well, but <laughs> these amazing, um, well even Peaky Blinders stuff as well, but and these absolutely amazing hats that uh, Rianne produces. Now it, they're absolutely known by celebrities and we see them on all the award shows and if Kenny King comes from Mobos, I've seen them at the Mobos as well, so yeah. In incredibly. But I want to ask two questions really. You've been a great supporter of ours, Microbiz Matters Day. Why, why do you support Microbiz Matters Day? Uh, I think for me, when you're you know, sitting at home with your notebook on your sofa and you just feel like you're a, you know, an ant on the motorway, as I would always, and that's what you feel like. And, and people like yourself, they sort of put all the ants together and you feel like an army and you begin to feel like, actually, you see people like what Charlie's done and you see, and you see examples of people going up, that, up the motorway yes. as an army yeah, and you yeah. just think, actually, to the power of all of us, you know, if we support each other and we collaborate, that's where, that's where, you know, it happens, that's where the growth happens and, and you've got people with similar ethics and, yes. and you're not just battling in a, you know, sea of huge businesses, you're there with all your team and you, and you feel like you're part of a family, yeah. it feels like a family. Do you, do you think we're all quite proud of our, our business and yeah. so we've got a passion that I think makes if, collaboration work? If you're going to bother, because it's so yeah. hard to be like <laughs> yeah. yeah. you've got to the be truth. passionate, the truth yeah, is, it's it so yeah. hard yeah. to work for yourself that you couldn't do it if you weren't passionate and, and when you go out and you see people who are passionate about every little thing they do whether it's plumbing whether it's nails whether it's onesies hats you know whatever it is that people are doing they're just passionate it's it's it's, a, it's an honest yeah. sort of reason it's not generally money driven it's generally yeah. passion driven and, and, and if it is to me that's good but yeah, you know but it's fantastic it's 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 sort of the soul of business is quite good so yeah, absolutely. yeah now these Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll judge. Should I model? In fact, I should really not be wearing really that anymore. Up, yeah. Sorry about that. So, 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 so I'm no longer. I mean, I mean, so, so um, they're all absolutely fantastic. They're all a bit sport. Doesn't matter. So therefore, um, now these are beautifully handmade, and, and they've got a tremendous reputation now. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not going to be cheap, are they? Because no. that you're all about quality and design. You're a designer, aren't yeah. you? I mean, I that's, an art that, that's what you are, a designer. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, it's, it, 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 they're an expense. So how do you actually start building some awareness out there that you've got these wonderful things that are mass-produced, that they are Bespoke, designed, bespoke, bespoke yeah. and, uh, and absolutely right. How, how did you actually go around? Well, Charlie talks um, about I mean, this. Like, how how yeah, did you get the publicity it, it, surrounding it them? It starts and your friends and family yeah, say, oh, absolutely. they're lovely, and, yeah, and yeah. they buy a few, and then the neighbours buy a few, and, and then you realise that the neighbours and the friends and family aren't going to support you, you know, to actually do it full time. So, yeah. you know, I was, I suppose I'm quite strategic in, because they are a high-end product, you're not going to be able to buy them on the high street. I look around and I go, well, who, who wears them? Who's... Like who would be a good ambassador? Who would, and you know, and I and I sent one out to Idris Elba, on, on which was a Twitter thing, it was via Twitter, and he wore it on the red carpet. Yeah. Uh, in London, and that was that was the turning point. Yeah. Yeah, that was absolutely. Point. Yeah. It's great. Stuff. And and he's you know he's. He's, to me, he's somebody who's got ethics, he supports small businesses, he, he does a lot of projects where he's interested in, you know, he goes to Parliament and talks about diversity in business, and, and it's that, it's pinpointing people who champion what you do, because there's no point trying to sell it to somebody who just says, well, I paid 15 quid for mine, I don't, you know, you, you need to find the market, which is hard, because it's a much smaller market than mass market, the market is there, but it just takes a lot longer. Now, Tina's, Tina's purchased uh, one of your fantastic, she's got Yorkshire down written there, down, written, yeah. down, yeah. written down, so, so how, how much of it comes from yeah. somebody actually seeing something yes. and yeah. thinking, well, I would like something like that, yeah. or, and how much comes from the fact that they know that you're a designer and you can create something bespoke that would make them look absolutely fantastic? It's probably a bit 50-50, so I would get a commission from someone who's had a jacket made on Savile Row and they've got to match it, or something in the velvet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Beautifully lined, yeah. really yeah. lined, and then there's just people who just want a really nice, really well made British made product, and they might have seen it on the website, they might have seen it on social media, or Tina, or you know, and, yeah. and some, a lot of the thing with the hats is you have to sort of see them yeah. because yeah. because they are really well made and they are all the ethics behind them 
you have to buy into that. Well, I think that's tremendously important because I mean, Tina, as you know, it's like she buys 90% plus of everything she buys is indie made, if you like. Yeah, and, indie, and yeah. Isn't part of the message that we've got to do in this collaboration with Microbiz Matters Day is just to encourage people to buy from yeah. other micro business owners, yeah. isn't it? Because we're helping each other and. You know, everybody that buys from you is a walking word of mouth advert yeah, for you, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and that's how it works. And people, and people, I've got a lot of customer loyalty. So I've got one customer in, in America, and he's got 36, the same style in different fabrics, wow. because he just loves them. So you know, for every 36 hats he's wearing, you know, he's selling another however many because he's, he's so passionate. He's more passionate than me, I think. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he only sends these poetic emails. About how lovely they are, and you can't buy you, you can't buy that. That's that's fantastic. Not to be.